People living in Pitcairn knew this bridge was bad, but they didn't know exactly how bad. It's semi-dangerous, it's very dangerous, we don't know. The Pennsylvania Department of Transportation says it's not dangerous at all, but hop on PennDOT's new online bridge conditions map and you'll see the deck, superstructure, and substructure of the bridge are all ranked at two. That's two on a scale of zero to nine. All three components of the bridge are considered to be in critical condition. Yeah. This is a two. This is a two. It's called critical condition. Uh, does that surprise you? Not at all, actually. There have been surveyors here multiple times throughout the years, but obviously nothing's been done. We need to get this fixed. Using the new map, you can see that out of the nearly 1,800 bridges in PennDOT's District 11, which includes Allegheny, Beaver, and Lawrence counties, there are more than 200 in poor condition. There's more than 200 bridges that are in the red in mm -hmm. poor condition. So if you remember the public and you see that, should you be afraid or what's the feeling you know you should no, have? No, I'm not afraid. Uh, it, for me, that's a good thing. Uh, I used to have 600 of those red dots on there. And over the last 15, 20 years, we, we've knocked them down to 200. And uh, we'll, we'll continue to do that. Uh, I expect that number to go under 200 here uh, sometime over the winter. District 11 bridge engineer Lou Ruzzi says that statewide, the number of bridges in poor condition has dropped by more than 1,000. When people see poor, 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 Four, four, four. This is not dangerous, though. No, no, it's not dangerous. It just needs it needs work. This Monroeville bridge is 118 years old, and it's rated as one of the worst in our area. The deck is considered a four out of nine, which is poor condition, and the components below are rated at two out of nine, which is critical condition. Ruzi says PennDOT fixes between 50 to 100 bridges in District 11 each year, but he says bridge funding has dropped from nearly 200 million a year between 2008 and 2012 to just 75 million a year now. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 visited three of the worst bridges in the area. That century-old Monroeville Bridge we showed you, this small Plum Borough Bridge in poor condition, and the Pitcairn Bridge in critical condition that's apparently causing several problems. They put the barriers up, I think, in 2011 because they said it was unsafe. So, as you can see, when I go to my driveway, I have to go around the barriers and through her driveway. Roberta Brown says these barriers went up to block heavy trucks from violating the now three ton weight limit. But she says that means the garbage truck isn't allowed to drive down her street and driveways are blocked off. The bridge is falling apart. PennDOT says they try to eke out 100 years from each bridge by preserving and rehabbing. Replacement is only a last resort. Their six inspectors stay busy checking bridges almost every day and their work can now be seen by everyone on the new map. But deficient bridges aren't something new as shown in this Pittsburgh's Action News 4 report from about 20 years ago. They're crumbling right before your eyes, crumbling under you and your family. I think they better go and stick and do something about it. One out of five needs major repairs. PennDOT touts major improvements since then. Now only one in nine bridges needs major repairs. Pennsylvania is doing something about the issue for sure. And there's some good news for the people of Pitcairn. PennDOT says the DEP will likely be replacing that bridge in conjunction with a stream project happening within the next 12 months. So you do feel like this bridge needs to be fixed? Absolutely, yes. Now there's a lot of things you can do with this new tool. You should test it out yourself. We've provided a link to it at our website, WTAE.com, also on the WTAE app. Reporting in Plum Borough, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.